Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Zeta here, back at it again to drop yet another installment for what if Naruto was Natsu's reincarnation. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, personally, I love doing this series, and I love the thumbnail as well as the image of Natsu that I have for the thumbnail. In case you guys saw the edit on the last part of the video where I basically stopped and I was like, yo, this man is sexy check him out and i and then under it i was like no homo though and <laughs> i'm pretty sure none of y'all caught that because i'm pretty sure many of you guys were probably just like listening to me like an audiobook however i did love absolutely love doing last part so you know your boys back at it again to drop part two and the series did decently well as first you know speaking for naruto x fairy tale what if i didn't really expect too much however the thumbnail was crisp so i decided you know what i might as well that being said though guys you guys can check out some links that i have down below in the description such as my discord server and uh, you know other things of that nature that being said if you like the video leave a like and uh, subscribe and with that being said let's get started <laughs> Okay, so we start a story off right where we left off, and Naruto would have just said, Fire Dragon, Iron Fist! As he would immediately go over to punch Sasuke. And this is when Sasuke's gut would be punched. Ribs would be shattered. However, when Sasuke lands on the ground, Sasuke would cough out blood and smirk. As he would say, checkmate and it's at this point that a giant amount of ice would just burst out from the ground as it would hit naruto away and he would fall down onto the ground as it's at that point that both of them would just completely get knocked out it's at this point that iruka would just be like yo are, are these kids stronger than me and iruka would just be sitting there like yo this is not okay bro these kids are not even getting yet it's their first day at the academy and they're already stronger than me bro what is going on what what is going on that's what iruka would just be thinking right it's at this point that of course naruto and sasuke would be going basically getting healed up seeing as you know they both landed some strong attacks and they would both be pretty beaten up and bruised seeing as naruto well you know he does have the power of natsu when you know at the start of the anime however that's kind of weak not gonna lie i mean like yeah the abilities were pretty cool and all but you know he was getting clapped by virgo so it's like you know it's not really that big of a deal that being said though naruto is not weak in any in any aspect shape way or form so you know the fact that sasuke was able to do that is you know it's saying a lot i mean if i was to have given naruto an ice cake again kai he'd be pretty powerful so just throw that onto sasuke it's with just the chad that he already is on top of the fact that he's just a boy genius and he kind of just picks things up quickly the sharingan being one of them he's you know he's pretty much on par with naruto however if i was to be honest and i wouldn't have made them purposefully tie naruto would have definitely won had sasuke not used that attack not gonna lie naruto was definitely a little bit above uh sasuke in terms of brute physical strength and you know just abilities because naruto's fire and sasuke has ice that being said though guys this is when they would both basically just kind of go home and they'd both be giving each other daggers for stairs sasuke would just be like huh how dare you and they would both just be arguing back and forth as they're walking off hinata would catch up to naruto and be like naruto-kun wait up as naruto would be like uh hey hinata she'd be like hey naruto no i'm just kidding i'm totally gonna stop doing that because i might like low-key be destroying your eardrums by doing that which i probably am but you know that being said naruto would be like hey hinata what's up and hinata would be like well i thought maybe we can go to the ramen place today seeing as you know maybe it'll be my treat naruto would be like oh ramen and he'd be like say less this is when they would apparently go to uh you know the um, Ichiraku Ramen's place and they would both get themselves a lot of food by the end of everything Hinata would be dummy broke however it's all good seeing as you know she's gonna have two years to make up for the money that she spends that being said this is when we will now be having a little bit of a mini time skip to which I will be briefly covering what happens during this time okay during this time Naruto would have ended up keep uh you know progressively learning more and more about chakra and at this point by the time that he was finally getting Naruto would actually have a pretty great control over his chakra he would he would also you know have his uh fire 
and wind and he would even have unlocked water transformation because i uh, know not water but uh you know water water nature is you know his third element that being said naruto was pretty well off in terms of chakra control and all that stuff seeing as that's what he mainly focused on for the two years he would have also heavily focused on his uh you know kenjutsu style aka sword style and all that stuff and he would have also focused on hand-to-hand -hand combat because you know hinata is a literal you know she has been bred to quite literally be one of the most broken hand-to-hand -hand combat specialists so you better bet you better believe that Hinata taught Naruto a couple of things she definitely taught him a thing or two about the Hyuga fighting style therefore Naruto has the hands and well the the attitude to back up everything that he does and says that being said Naruto and uh, Hinata would basically become better friends and throughout the two years that they were in the academy Naruto and Sasuke would have grown as rivals more and more and Hinata would kind of be like the middle ground always just being like guys just stop you know and Naruto and Sasuke you know they wouldn't listen to her Hinata would just be like Naruto-kun stop it and I'm sorry I had to do it I had to do it but uh you know that's what happens and yeah they just both progressively get stronger seeing as Sasuke sees how much stronger naruto is than him and it just forces him to also want to learn kenjutsu so he starts losing learning sword style he starts learning more and more jutsus and he would have even ended up training with kakashi hatake the ninja the copycat ninja of the hidden uh um leaf village that being said sasuke would get to about the level that he was at in the let's see by the time that he was 16 years old with the rochimaru that's basically about as strong as sasuke is naruto would have about the basic knowledge that he had at, a, at that point too however one thing that he would still be lacking would of course be the rasengan sasuke however already has a chidori and he's already learned moves such as chidori stream however he has also gotten way stronger with his ice cake genkai abilities and at this point he even has the ability to create the ice mirrors as well as a kiki genkai style that he created that only needs one uh one hand to perform ice make jutsu and uh yeah it's pretty broken i'm not saying he's gray's reincarnation or anything but you know sasuke has some a couple ice jutsus that are you know pretty strong he's gonna be about as strong as gray is in the anime you know never gonna get eat, uh never gonna get the de the devil slayer power so don't worry he's never gonna get that far and it's not like he's gonna have like all of the same abilities as gray he's just gonna have a couple of them that he's able to perform that being said though guys this is when we will now basically be going to the day where they would both walk in this being naruto and hinata and they would of course just be waiting on their team senseis as of course their sensei would be late this being kakashi hatake and, the, and naruto would be like dude why is this man this late bro it's like the first day isn't it common courtesy to be like on time at least for the first day like i would get it man if this was like one year into it but come on and Hinata would just be sitting there, like, twiddling her fingers, just like, Naruto-kun, you know, just being all weird. Naruto would just be like, yeah, Hinata? And she'd be like, uh, nothing, because right at that moment, she actually wanted to tell Naruto how she felt for him. However, Naruto just completely was oblivious to it. And that being said, it's at this point that they would both just kind of sit there for about two more hours. At one point, Naruto would just get so tired and start doing push-ups. As Sasuke would be like, listen, dope, you better stay out of my way on this team. As Naruto would be like, you think I'm hyped to be working with you? You think I'm happy to be sitting here working with you? No, if anything, I'm going to hate this, you icy, I, uh, you icy bastard. As, you know, Sasuke would just look at him and be like, what'd you say? What'd you say, Dragon Breath? As Naruto would just be like, you heard me. And they would both get into a little bit of a scuffle. To which it would be very very reminiscent to the one that they have in fairy tale that being said it's at this point that you know kakashi would finally make it in as he would see naruto and sasuke both bickering he would immediately just be like no no and then he'd be like minato sensei why did your kid have to turn out to be a troublemaker and it's at this point that he would basically tell them both to go up to the roof or not both but all of them to go up to the roof and they would all of course do so being as you know that is their sensei and all that stuff and you know well they are gonna listen to kakashi because you know he's the boss that being said though guys this is when well what's it called sasuke would basically proceed to just be like stay out of my way dope and he would walk off as he shoves naruto with his shoulder of course and they would meet outside everybody would of course give off their same goals and aspirations that they had in canon such as hinata being like i want to become a strong kanuichi who can stand alongside naruto naruto would say that he wants to become the hokage and be respected by everyone he wishes to be the strongest ninja and someday master his 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 abilities that he was granted 
Kakashi would be like, huh, pretty interesting. Abilities he was granted. Does he mean those fire abilities that I've seen him use before? He'd be thinking that. And this is when Sasuke would go up as Kakashi would just be like, yeah, yeah, you want to kill your family. I mean, your brother, whatever. Seeing as, you know, he did train him for like the last two years that he was in the academy. That being said, this is when all of them would basically start wrapping things up for that day. And it's at this point that he would tell them to meet him at a certain place tomorrow. This place being the forest, which they will basically be having their little bell exam at. And he would, of course, tell them not to eat. This would prompt Naruto to be like, what you mean not to eat, bro? I'm going to eat if I want to eat. You ain't going to tell me what to do. And, you know, of course, Hinata would listen. Sasuke would listen, of course. And, well, this is when they would finally arrive tomorrow. And I'm not even going to cover the amount of time that it takes Kakashi to get there because we all know he's going to get there late. That being said, though, he would, of course, arrive about two hours late, and Naruto would have actually arrived at the same time that Kakashi did, as he Naruto would be like, Naruto-kun, where were you? And Naruto would just be like, oh, you know, I was lost in the path of life, as he would look at Kakashi and wink at him. It's at this point that Kakashi would get a little irritated by that, and he would then be like, well, Naruto, since you wanted to, you know, make an example out of me, how about I make an example out of you? Today, we will be having the bell test. Now, your objective today will basically be to try to get these bells off of my waist. If you do not succeed, all of you will be going back to the academy. And this is when Sasuke will just be smirking, thinking that he'll succeed. He has a three Tomoe Sharingan at this point. Not only that, but Kakashi trained him. He knows all of his trips, all of his tricks and tips and all that stuff. Naruto would just be sitting there like, <laughs> whatever. And also, one more thing that I forgot to mention, Kakashi would be as strong as he was after the time skip. Meaning that all the characters that we already know would be stronger than their original canon counterparts. That being said, this is when they would basically look at Kakashi as he would say, go. And it's at this point that Sasuke would immediately rush at Kakashi as he would wield his sword and immediately slash at Kakashi. Kakashi would use his kunai to block the attack and this is when Naruto would say that don't think you're the only one that's going to show off as he would jump in the way, knocking Sasuke back. Sasuke would be like, stay out of my way Naruto. And it's at this point that they would both be trying to show off in front of one another. This would lead into Kakashi smiling as he would start to beat on Sasuke and Naruto at the same time because their moves are completely out of sync. It would be so such bad teamwork that it's to the point where it was low-key unpredictable at times and at other times they were just getting completely fondled. It's at this point that Hinata would jump in and start using the gentle fist technique and she would be pretty well off considering the fact that she had two more years to learn the technique of which is the gentle fist. That being said of course this would lead into her you know doing some gentle fish techniques. Den I said gentle fish but I meant gentle fist and this would of course lead into Naruto jumping back as he would immediately just say fire dragon roar and he would shoot it right at kakashi as kakashi would jump back and sasuke at that same time that naruto shot his roar out he would create a giant iceberg similar to the one that todoroki creates as he would shoot it towards kakashi's direction kakashi would jump out of the way and both of the attacks would cancel each other naruto would look at sasuke and it's at this point that sasuke and naruto would both rush at each other as instead of focusing on the battle ahead they would rush at each other and begin to fight as it's at this point that Kakashi would just sit there, grab his book, and sit down. As Hinata would go over to Naruto and tell him to stop, that this is not the time. They're going to get sent back to the academy if he doesn't stop. And after hearing that, Naruto would be like, you know what? You know what? You're right. Sasuke is not even worth it. Hinata would be like, good. And after Sasuke hears that, he would immediately be like, oh, nah. I ain't playing these games. As immediately, Sasuke would be like, you know what, Naruto? I'm getting quite sick of your crap. This is when he would say, now die with the thunderclap. As he would proceed to literally create Kirin from the sky. Naruto would see this. And without a moment of hesitation, Naruto would grab Hinata as he pushes her out of the way. Kakashi would see Kirin coming down from the sky and just be like, no. As it's at this point that Naruto would stand in front of the blast, the full radius, as Naruto would, cl would clench up his fists and he would basically just stand his ground as it's at this point that Naruto would go to try to eat the lightning as immediately Naruto is barely right on the brink of death as he manages to barely eat the lightning. And right afterwards, Naruto would just say, that was disgusting, but now... Now I've got a lightning in my belly. 
as it's at this point that Naruto would look at Sasuke as he would fay, as he would say, fire, fire dragon, lightning kings, roar, as he would shoot it straight at Sasuke, and Kakashi would quite literally have to Kamui Sasuke out of the way, because if it wasn't for that, Sasuke would have died, just plain and simple, Sasuke would have been eviscerated. And after Naruto lets out that roar, he would then blitz uh, Kakashi as the lightning would cloak, cloak, basically create a cloak, a cloak around him. And Naruto would then blitz Kakashi as he grabs both bells and throws one at Hinata saying that they won. Kakashi would face Palm as he's like, no you didn't. As he would then begin to explain to all of them that, you know, in this world, people who break the rules are scum. Yes, but people who abandon their friends are worse than scum. And this is when Naruto would finally get that sacred power that Natsu has, something that is unrivaled by anybody, the power of friendship. <laughs> After hearing those words, Naruto would look at Kakashi and say, come on, just give us one more chance. I'm sorry we acted like that, just one more. Kakashi would look at them and then just basically be like, fine, listen to me. You all get one more chance because you guys have potential. However, with this bickering, you will only get yourself killed in a real ninja mission. How can I trust you? And Naruto would just say that you can trust us. As Sasuke would say that simultaneously, they would both look at each other in disdain. As they would both just be like, look, we're willing to work with each other if that means we'll pass. And Kakashi would look at them as he would say, fine, you get one more chance tomorrow. I need a break from all this craziness, as Kakashi would proceed to grab his things and basically dip out of there, as Hinata would actually end up staying there and just be like, Naruto, we almost lost because of you. Now, I know, you know, I like you and everything, but it's like, if I, to, if I was to have gone back to the academy, I would have killed you. Naruto would hear that and just be like, scary, as it's at this point that she would proceed to look at Naruto, and I'm going to be giving Hinata a little bit of a buff to her character. She's not going to be all shy, and she's actually going to be a likable, uh, you know, shonen jump side character, which is, you know, just so happens to be a female. That being said, she would basically smack Naruto and be like, ever do that again, I will kill you. And Naruto would be like, okay, as it's at this point that they would go home, the very next day would arrive, and of course, they would have to take the bell test once again, as this would lead into them all basically creating a plan for the two hours that they had before Kakashi arrived. Now, in terms of what the plan is, the plan is essentially to have Hinata press Kakashi head on, seeing as she is a Taijutsu specialist, as well as having Naruto shooting long range attacks and Sasuke using his Kenjutsu to basically take on Kakashi head on and distract him from behind. That, that being said, they were both going to go towards the bells, which, which would basically lead to Kakashi having a substitute, and Naruto's only task was to basically shoot Kakashi with his strongest attack before Kakashi had any time to react while he was off balance. That being said, Kakashi would arrive and they would do just that. However, one slight mistake would be made. Naruto would end up putting in a little too much power into the dragon roar and he would actually end up burning kakashi to a crisp which leads to him basically turning into ash and everybody just be like oh no as sasuke would be like what did i do what did i do what did i do what did i do i should have never made this plan and naruto would be like oh my god as it's at this point that sasuke would start dying of laughter and say he's not dead you dope as naruto would say what he would then say look over there as he would say he substituted within that instant that you hesitated. Naruto would just be like, oh. And Sasuke would be like, well, let's do this again. This is when Naruto would say, no. Hinata, you stand back. Shoot him with the gale palm. As Sasuke would just be like, what? It's at this point that Naruto would grab Sasuke. As he would say, go. He would grab Sasuke by the arm and toss him straight at Kakashi. As Sasuke would use the the transformation jutsu turning himself into a demon wind shuriken as he would fly over to kakashi kakashi would catch it with his bare hands and it's at this point that naruto would blitz right in front of kakashi's he would he would say fire dragon wing attack as he would shoot him with a with a giant burst of flame and wind which would send kakashi flying back and this one Kaka and this one sasuke sorry not kakashi would basically create a giant geyser of ice which would end up freezing kakashi in place and this is when naruto would walk past sasuke as he would proceed to basically dab him up he'd be like looks like we did it maybe there is some hope for us after all sasuke would look at naruto and be like yeah well don't get too ahead of yourself one victory is still one victory i still can't stand you as naruto would look at him and say the feeling's mutual 
this one they would both kind of smile a little bit and it's at this point that they would both just kind of go off on their separate ways however this is where they would both basically go home and tomorrow they would basically just do more missions for about one month this would lead to them having one entire month of doing normal missions because they needed it not it wasn't because they're not strong enough because in real terms they are about as powerful as jonin each respectively and also i forgot to mention all the you know the the 12 or the konoha the 10 team the, the 10 people that were there right no it's, it's 12 yeah it's 12 the the 12 uh little genin yeah they're all pretty powerful in their own right because you know not only did naruto and sasuke have more time to get more powerful however they did as well so they would be even more powerful as well and every other team would be you know a, at least a little decent bit off uh a little decent a decent bit well off you know is what i'm basically trying to get at that being said they would both you know end up getting their teamwork right after about one month and of course naruto would be like this is too easy if you don't ask for a better mission i will and trust me if i have to ask the old man for a better mission things are gonna get ugly as kakashi would be like all right all right whatever i guess i'll ask for a higher mission seeing as you guys kind of have teamwork down i don't think we'll die is what he would be thinking as well this one kakashi would go over to the hokage's office and he would be like hey here's in is there any chance we can get a better mission he would say ah oh, yeah i was actually just about to call your team you guys are going to be on a c rank mission to escort the bridge builder tazuna back to the land of the waves kakashi would be like all right that seems easy enough and this is when he would inform the team leading to all of them getting their stuff together and naruto would look at his gamakishi wallet as he would be like wow there's like no money in here as he would basically just be thinking looks like people got to watch the ads on the video huh and um yeah this is where we're gonna be you know ending off the video and if you don't know what i mean by watch the ads on the video it basically means that uh your boy's revenue is a little low watch the ads boys please it makes me a tiny bit of money and you know however tiny that amount may be you know your boy is struggling right now so you know if you could do me a favor you know maybe watch those ads maybe watch them once or twice maybe click on and off of the video 20 times to give me an extra view or two and uh you know consider leaving the like button and you know consider hitting the like button not leaving a like button but hitting the like button as well as subscribing to the channel if you are new in case you're new and you're just like well this man's desperate i'm not desperate that's just how i play around but anyways that being said though guys i love each and every single one of you guys thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your day i love each and every single one of you guys it has been your boy zether and i am out peace